I just want to curl up in my bed and watch Doctor Who episodes. Apparently, the new Sonic screwdriver can defeat pretty much anything. Even scary face metal men. I might need an upgrade. Well, before I lose all of my energy that I have for today, I thought I would finish my beta. That and the fact that the internet here takes forever to upload a video. It hates us, precious. It's story time, kids! Yay! Once upon a time, when I was younger, I dated a boy who, by all means, was wonderful. He was tall and handsome and all sorts of sparkly. When we met, he pretty much instantaneously started pursuing me, which was uh, very nice. But despite his bright and sparkly exterior, most of my friends knew that he wasn't right for me. He didn't have a dark side or anything like that. At most, maybe he was selfish, which I suppose can be enough. In particular, though, my best friend had a huge problem with me dating him. I was just so distracted by the sparkly that I didn't see the red flags that came with the pretty package. Admit it. You've done it too. Mm-hmm. All sorts of pretty. <laughs> Before I knew it, two things had happened. Number one, I was in a huge argument with my best friend. Two, I was in a full out relationship that I was secretly having second thoughts about. The relationship ultimately ended three months later. Now, some people could look at this story and say, it's totally the best friend's fault. Like, if she hadn't gotten involved, then you guys would still be together. Oh, hold the phone there, buckaroo. Though hindsight is 50-50, I'm here to say that she was right. There were a lot of external elements that factored into my decision making at the time, but it still doesn't reprieve the fact that I just should have said no. To be honest, I pretty much just gave in to those voices in my head that were saying, Don't you want to be in a relationship? Don't you want somebody to snuggle with? Girl, you deserve to have a handsome man on your arm. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the hurt and the strife that I could have bypassed if I had just done this? Hey girl, what's your number? Let's go get dinner. Uh, sorry. I'm watching Doctor Who tonight. Oh, life would have been so much easier. <laughs> This, of course, is easy in theory, but it's not so easy to play out. Relationships can easily be a tricky, messy web if we don't navigate them properly. I don't think I realized at the time how strongly that his presence affected me. Each relationship I've been in has definitely left a distinct imprint on me. There have been a few instances where it's been wonderful and I've taken things from it and I've grown from it, but most of the time I've just been left with a pile of trash and it's taken me months, if not years, to dig out of. The next time someone comes around, I want to be emotionally and mentally prepared. I want to protect myself and my heart from that trash heap and continue to grow myself until someone comes along beside me who wants to grow with me. Yeah. Thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. That face. <laughs>